Nate Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. I get a lot of inquiries, uh, email and uh, phone calls about uh, from people that want to remove vocals from a recording. Say they have a recording of, uh, I heard it through the grapevine, and they want to do their own vocals on it. They, they're wondering whether there, are, there is some sort of software <clears throat> that will remove the vocals, and yes, there is. Um, but the, the bottom line is it doesn't work very well. Um, there are a couple different things that happen. One is the software will take out everything that's in the middle channel. So basically anything that's panned up the straight, straight up the middle, it comes out. So anything that's panned a little to the left or a little to the right will stay in the mix. Um, but you're, you're going to have different results with different songs because a lot of songs, a lot of things are panned up the middle. So you're, all that stuff is going to disappear. The other thing they use is, um, where they just take out a big chunk of frequency. Uh, so, you know, they try and isolate where the human vocal sits uh, in terms of frequency, and then they just remove all of that. Uh, problem is, is that there's guitars, uh, other horns, there's all kinds of things also in that same frequency that is going to be removed as well. So you're better off, and I always recommend um, to try to search for a karaoke, karaoke, however you say it, version of the song, and just purchase that. Uh, it's much uh, cheaper, easier, more efficient to just buy a song that's already been created uh, in an instrumental version than to try to <clears throat> remove the vocals from a uh, pre-recorded track. So yeah, so if you're trying to do that, uh, that's my recommendation to look for uh, instrumental version. Um, worst case scenario, you could hire me to try to remove it, but the results uh, vary and most often are not so great. So rock on.